Hey, 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 I'm Livingston, and I'm a fifth grader. I'm in middle school, and I love to play my Xbox One, and I love to get good grades. But, you know, I don't know what time management is. A teacher told me to use time management. I don't know what time management is. I need help. Yes. So, in answer of this question that Livingston has, what exactly is time management? Listen, we all have choices. And we can sell Livingston here. He says that he loves to play his Xbox One. And he can play Fortnite forever. Uh, is something wrong with that? Mm, I don't think so. But he must also write an essay for homework. And it can take him hours to get it right, is what he says. Fortnite player or playing it all night is a choice. And being an author at work to ensure that his homework is done is another choice. So we all have choices we have choices um, of what we are gonna do and when we should or when we are going to do them so we see here uh livingston's issue he doesn't know what he should do first as we go on we'll see and we'll answer that question ourselves yeah. And so Livingston's issue continues. The problem that Livingston has, and many middle schoolers and many adults have, is what should I do first? We see Livingston has homework, and doing homework would cause him to get a good grade in school we see a star there representing the good grade and then next we see that he would have proud parents or a proud parent if he was to do his homework we also see that Levingston's teacher would also be happy if he does his homework so we see that Livingston can't go wrong by doing his homework first. By making that the first thing he does, he cannot go wrong. It seems as if only good things will happen as a result of Livingston doing his homework, being an author at work. Next, as we said earlier, he also has the choice to play Fortnite. This is a choice, but playing Fortnite may make Livingston happy, but we also see that if he plays Fortnite all night and doesn't get his homework done, then he would achieve a failing grade. Is that something we want as middle schoolers? No. Then we see our parents. Our parents want us to do well in school would we have happy parents if we to play Fortnite all evening or all night and not do our homework we won't have happy parents then we also see that the teacher wouldn't be happy because Livingston would have to explain why his homework wasn't done and his teacher definitely would not be happy if she found out that he was playing Fortnite all evening instead of doing his homework. Under there, we see that if Livingston so chooses to do his homework, we can call this productive living. That means that he is doing something that needs to be done. That's productive living. How many of you want to be productive? middle schoolers. I think all of us would raise our hands. We want to be productive. 
I want to be a productive adult. And then we see under his choice of playing Fortnite, fun loving. So we can be productive. That's a choice. Or we can just be fun loving. Is it wrong to have fun? No, it isn't. But can we just have fun or play Fortnite all day, all night? Will that help us at becoming educated young children? No, it won't. Okay? Good. And we're moving right along. Moving right along. Words at work is the segment we come to. Words at work. Productivity. We're still working to answer the question, what is good time management? Productivity. Productivity is doing what must be done first. That also leads us a little closer to time management. When somebody uses good time management, it means that they are productive with their time. And productivity means that we're doing what must, that word, must be done first. The clear example of productivity versus fun, remember? Uh, does Livingston have to play Fortnite? No. Does he want to? Yes. Does he have to? No. Must he do his homework? Yes. Does he have a choice? No. Should he do his homework? Yes. If Livingston does his homework first before playing Fortnite, it means that Livingston is a productive middle schooler. Okay? So productivity is doing what must be done first. These things are required. Example, you must do schoolwork. You must do chores if your parents gave them to you. You must brush your teeth to practice high, well, good hygiene. You must take a bath also to practice good hygiene. And other important responsibilities. We must do the things that are most important. When we do the things that are most important first, then we are being productive. We are practicing productivity. We are also practicing time management. Okay, boys and girls, middle schoolers, the saga continues. Words and work. The next word is fun. There is nothing wrong with having fun. Let's get that straight, okay? I don't want you boys and girls to believe that there's something wrong with having fun. There is nothing at all wrong with having fun. But fun may not be the first thing to do. Okay? If you have homework, you definitely should do your homework first. That would make you productive, as we just said, right? And if you do your homework first, before playing Fortnite, then it means you are practicing good time management. So, you can have fun after the most important things are done. <clears throat> Gaming, playing with friends, watching TV, after writing your essay, it is great time management. As long as you did what was most important to be done. Fun. There is nothing wrong with it. Productivity for you to get good grades, for you to make your parents happy, for you to make your teachers 
happy and for you to become a well-rounded, intelligent adult that is successful, you must be productive. Homework first, productivity, and fun after. What comes first? Homework of a night. Homework. What comes first? Productivity versus fun. Productivity then fun is a go-to. And so the problem was Livingston didn't know what he should do first because he was unsure of what time management really was. Now that we are a little bit closer, a little bit clearer, a little closer to understanding what time management is and a little clearer at what time management requires us to do, we can now present a solution. Okay, and we can see here that in order to practice time management, we must choose things in order of rank and priorities. We spoke and so the problem was Livingston didn't know what he should do first because he was unsure of what time management really was. Now that we are a little bit closer, a little bit clearer, a little closer to understanding what time management is, and a little clearer at what time management requires us to do, we can now present a solution. Okay? And we can see here that in order to practice time management, we must choose things in order of rank and priorities. We spoke about productivity. We spoke about what was most important. Rank means we put something in an order from one and up to what should be done first. So we talked about Fortnite and we talked about homework. So if we're gonna put those in rank order, then we would say, number one, if we think homework is most important, we would say homework comes first. And then we would say, uh, maybe fortnight comes after in the number two spot. But homework is most important. So homework is number one. Fortnight then is number two after the most important thing is done. And that, would be, that is what we're talking about when we say choose what you do in rank, order, or by priority. Priority is simply saying what is most important. And you're going to do that most important thing first. Number one, number two, number three, number four, and so on. But putting what's most important first. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a plan. In order to practice time management as a middle schooler, Create a plan. If you know you have a number of things to do, go to the back of your book. Create a little calendar. Print out a calendar offline. And you can create a plan. What I'm going to do at 2 o'clock. What I'm going to do at 3 o'clock. What I'm going to do at 6 o'clock. What I'm going to do at 7 o'clock. And you go on and on and on. And you create a plan as to what you're going to do when. This keeps you on track and it keeps you practicing time management. And then you can be a productive middle schooler. Next, you must follow your plan. Writing your plan down is not enough. You must follow your plan. Okay, and that keeps you practicing time management. Now, somebody may ask, once I write it down and I create this plan, can I shift from this plan? Yes, you can. If you created a plan and it doesn't work well, then you need to go and revisit that plan. And we'll call that making 
revisions. You can make revisions to your plan. Means you may put homework for four o'clock. That may not work because you may not get home until 4.30. So you need to make a revision to your plan where you start homework at 4.30 rather than 4 o'clock. So one, we're gonna choose things in order of rank and priority, what's important, right? First, and then the next important after, and so on and so on until we've ranked everything that we have to do. Then we're gonna create a plan, a calendar, or just writing uh, things to do at the back of your school book or notebook to help you um, stay on track, right? Um, yes, creating a plan, a timetable it's also called. And in order to be successful with time management, we must follow the plan. And when we can't follow the plan exactly, then we must make revisions to that plan. This is the solution for Livingston who didn't know what time management was or didn't know how to use time management. This is also the solution for every middle schooler and even adults, okay? Great, we're moving along. And, 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 and we're almost to the end, almost to the end. What good time management looks like. Uh, remember. To ask yourself these questions anytime you're thinking about time management. What is most important? Or what must be done? And we can ask ourselves what must be done first. So what is most important? Or what must be done first? or what can wait and the opposite of that what cannot wait so the answer is always going to be can our homeworks wait no our homework cannot wait can playing games wait yes can talking on the phone with a friend wait yes these things can wait but the thing that is most important must be done first and we will see here that I had a to-do list. And I have them numbered one through four, but that is not in order rank. It is not in order rank, okay? So we see one, we have to do chores. Two, we want to play Xbox. Three, we must do homework. And four, we want to text a friend, okay? Now I'm gonna put these in rank order for me. And middle schoolers, the first one should be the first rank or priority for every middle schooler. Okay? So my rank order is going to put homework as number one. My rank order is going to put my chores that my mom and dad told me that I must do as number two. My rank order because I prefer to talk to my friend rather than play Xbox, right? Is gonna put texting my friend as number three. And last, my rank order is gonna put playing Xbox at number four. However, uh, if we remember in the beginning, Livingston said that his favorite thing to do was play his Xbox. So maybe for Livingston, his homework is gonna be one, like mine's was. It should be, right Livingston? Isn't homework most important out of everything we have listed? I think it is. Homework is number one. He doesn't wanna get in problems with his parents, so he's gonna do his chores, that's number two. And then for Livingston, he probably put Xbox as number three. 
and text his friend if he wants to. He may not want to do that as number four. So the order of things can change based on who it is. But the one thing that should remain the same for every boy and girl in middle school is homework should be number one. Number one, number one, number one, number one. Boys and girls, now you know what time management is. You also know what time management looks like. You also know how to practice good time management. Our objective for this video uh, was to make sure that every middle schooler understands what it means to practice good time management. And now that you know, we are happy. We are happy. Parents will be happy. Teachers will be happy. You will be happy when you get good grades. Livingston will be happy because he loves to get good grades in school. Middle schoolers, shine your light for all to see. Shine your light of time management. Share with your friends. Share with your families what time management is all about. Credit. Merva Davis as the video creator. All the singing, all the talking, all the tech work. Mervyn Davis, video creator. And at the end we wanna say, and at the end we wanna say, and at the end we wanna say, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. And at the end we want to say, and at the end we want to say, and